morning. Here is your task list for literacy today. So I'm going to explain it in case some of it is new and you don't quite get it. So the first thing that you're going to do, and it's all listed right here too, is watch the Ed Puzzle video on characterization. So just as we have in the past, you'll open up the video, log in with Google, and answer the questions on the side as they come. This is new. We haven't talked about characterization, but essentially we're talking about how are we learning about character traits or personality of a character. And there's two ways that you can do that, direct characterization and indirect. In direct characterization, which the video will tell you, it's going to be more blatant. They're going to come out and say they had blonde hair and blue eyes. That's direct. They're telling you something about that person. Or she was friendly and they tell you that's going to be direct. It's indirect if you have to kind of make an inference based on what they're doing or saying, saying, oh, well, they did something that wasn't that nice. So now I think they're kind of a mean person, something like that. The video will explain it. Um, also, instead of having you take notes during the video, We've posted just a one slide um, of notes and it does go on, but you only need to look at this slide and then the following slides, so sorry, two slides, okay? So this is gonna go over what the video also talks about. I would keep the notes up because the third thing that you're gonna be doing is a go formative. So when you go on, this isn't gonna be a test, but it's gonna be an activity. I'm not gonna keep it up too long because there's answers, but. All of these on the side, you need to decide whether they're direct or indirect and drag them into the boxes over on this side. So Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and having nothing to do. Do you think that that says something about her personality directly or can you assume something about Alice because of what that says? Okay, so indirect or direct, you drag them in. You can only do it once, but it will give you partial credit for the ones that you get correct, okay? The fourth thing is text questions. We do this all the time in class. I want you to think of two character traits or two words that you could use to describe Alice from the story and then an example from the text. So I would like it to be a specific example or a quote, something that you're directly pulling that you read that tells you about Alice's character. And then the rest of these just need to be in full sentences and do your best to really think about it. This one says read paragraph eight, and we did just put paragraph eight in here so you don't have to pull up the text every single time. Okay, and then the last thing is just going to be filling out your reading log and your Thursday summary. Remember that that's also located, um, I believe, under virtual learning. Let me double check. Yes, right here. And you have to fill this out every day because just like in class, I need to know what you're reading and how much you're reading. And then I don't want people to forget the Tuesday and Thursday summary this week because that's really where I understand kind of what you're reading about, okay? Don't forget who's reading quizzes because who's reading is due on April 6th, which is next Monday. And I'm looking in who's reading for you to have four completed quality quizzes to get a level three. If you have more than that, you can get a level four. If you don't have that, it's a two, a one, or a zero. So please reach out if you need some help getting those done or if you have some questions, all right? Let me know if you have any questions.